I want to talk about self-love, loving yourself unconditionally. Hi, I'm Angel. Thanks for stopping by. I know sometimes that sounds selfish to people, I think. And um, as a mother myself, I spent a lot of my life giving to others before I give to myself, taking care of others before I take care of myself. And in fact, I still catch myself doing that pretty frequently because I think as a female perhaps or just as a human being we want to we want to give to each other we want to help each other and I think that's awesome and I am not trying to discourage that but however and if you love yourself first sometimes that means saying no to what other people request of you but what it does is honor your own boundaries and give other people permission to honor their own boundaries. And if we all did that more, imagine how much less anxiety and animosity and resentment we would have amongst our relationships if instead of doing for someone else at the expense of, of your own well-being, you took care of your own well-being first. If we all take care of our own well-being first, then we're all going to be at a higher level and capable of helping each other out and cooperating and creating more beautiful things. And um, I don't think it's, you know, just like flipping a switch, like there's a perfect way. There's not one way. It's an ongoing process. It's something to practice ongoingly. And I also do think it is like a binary decision to go, I am first. I, my well-being is first and foremost. It's just like putting on your oxygen mask first in the airplane as they as they say. It's, it's important because even if it's not as critical as that oxygen mask, ultimately if you're sacrificing your own boundaries, if you're sacrificing your own health and happiness to try to provide for others, in the long run what you're doing is, like for example, if you're doing that for your children, you're teaching your children to do that for others. If you're doing that for your lover or your partner, you're going to be harboring a little bit of resentment that's going to eke its way out in all kinds of all kinds of ways. Whereas when you're really solidly taking care of yourself first, loving yourself first and foremost, unconditionally, and and that includes even when you make a mistake or even when you're not at your best, then that gives all of us, we give each other permission to forgive ourselves, to treat each other and ourselves better, to hold to our own boundaries, to honor our own boundaries. And I, the more I practice it, the better I get at it. Not that I'm a master yet, but I am, I am a novice, I would call myself, at self-love. And the more I practice and the better I get, the, the better I am able to give love to others is what I'm finding. And the more capable I am of helping others because because my own life is together and my own situation is taken care of and when that's true then I can really stand up and and step up and be there for other people when they need me when I'm able and so part of that is though saying no when I'm not able or when it's uh, you know when it's not in line with my best interest or or my own taking care of myself my own self care I'd love to know if you have any thoughts on that. I think it's a worthy discussion for us to have on an ongoing basis as a society, as individuals, as friends and family, all of that, I think, um, especially with our children and our parents, really. Uh, I, I guess I hesitate now that I said especially because really, across the board, the more we love ourselves and honor our own boundaries and take care of ourselves first the more we're going to be able to love others and take care of others to a higher capacity. That's what I got to say about that. I'd love it if you have anything to add. Please do that in the comments. If you want to find other ways to contact me or support me, you can check out the description. There's lots of ways. I got books for sale, music for sale, all kinds of great ways you can support me. Check it out. As always, I wish you love, lightheartedness, laughter, don't forget to play every day.